Good morning. Good morning and uh, welcome to the weekend, to Friday. Today is the 27th of October 2023 to Peace Through the Word, Daily Devotional Ministry of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church, Benson, Arizona, in an LCMS Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod congregation. I'm Pastor Ron York of that congregation, so uh, blessed to be able to welcome you this weekend and today to this devotional piece of ministry. Uh, just got back last night from San. Just got back from San Francisco last night for pastors meetings, and so I uh, wasn't able to do a broadcast uh, this week, but. Uh, back at it today. So so good to be able to welcome all of you uh, to this da daily devotional piece of ministry. We're going to be looking at two subjects again uh, today. We're going to be looking at, first of all, daily sin means daily repentance from Dr. Martin Luther. Pray that's going to bless you. And then Jesus is going to talk to us on becoming increasingly aware of his presence with us. So I pray that both of these subjects will be a blessing to you as we come together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouths will declare your praise. Make haste, O oh God, to deliver us. Make haste to help us, O oh Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ. Alleluia. Blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. So glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So, O uh, bl blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O come, let us worship him. So the subject that Dr. Martin Luther is going to share with us is daily sin means daily repentance. And we all sin greatly every day. And we do it with intentionality. We don't just, it doesn't just happenstance. We do it with intentionality. In other words, we intend to do it. Right. There is the sin of, uh, you know, it, it just happens, but that's very rare. Most of most sin happens intentionally. And so we need to repent every day, every day. Repentance is an ongoing minute by minute activity. It isn't something that one and done, you know, that doesn't exist. And so the passage of scripture is Titus chapter three, verse five, and uh, scripture has this to say. He saved us. Who saved us? Jesus. He saved us not because of works done by us in righteousness. No way, because we don't have any. But according to his own mercy. See, in and of ourselves, we have no good works. We have no good thing within ourselves. There's no virtue in and of ourselves because we're sinners. The Bible says, in man dwelleth no good thing. That's what the Bible says. Yet people say just the opposite. Oh, yes, there is. There's, there's at least a little bit of good in me. The Bible says not even just a little bit. And see, that, that's offensive to people. People don't want to hear that. And they don't. They check out. Don't do that. Humble yourself. Jesus knows more about you and everything else than you. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so... Come to terms with that. You're going to be blessed and much happier, believe me. But that's the text. So let's see how Dr. Martin Luther unpacks this for us this morning. Daily sin means daily repentance. 
He says, in this life on earth, it is impossible for us to live without any sin and defect. It's impossible. It's not hard. It's impossible. <laughs> okay? It goes beyond hard. So even if we have already received grace in the Holy Spirit, doesn't matter. You're still going to sin. Unfortunately, you know, you're sinner and saint at the same time, but there's this tension. And that's going to continue to be there with us until Jesus calls us home or he returns. So, so grace in the Holy Spirit because of our sinful, corrupt flesh and blood. Brothers and sisters, you can't, we still carry that old Adam, unfortunately. I wish we didn't, but that's reality. All right. They've received grace. They refrain from and guard against sin and oppose the evil lust as repentance requires. We, we, we don't do that. St. Paul says, those are the things I do. And the things that I should do, those are the things I don't do. So St. Paul says, who's going to save me from this wretched state? He said, thanks be to God. That's our prayer too. That's our confession. So that's our confession. So therefore, they also still daily need forgiveness. Just as they also daily repent because of those remaining defects and weaknesses. They recognize that their life and their works are still sinful and would merit God's wrath. If they were not forgiven and covered for Christ's sake. For that reason, Christ has established his kingdom on earth, which should be called an eternal kingdom of grace and always remain under the forgiveness of sins. Upon those who believe, that means trust it, it is so powerful that even though sin is still stuck and so deeply rooted in their flesh and blood, it cannot at all be swept out of this life Nevertheless, it shall do no harm, but shall be forgiven and not imputed as long as we remain in the faith and daily work at suppressing the remaining evil lusts until they are entirely blotted out through death and decay in the grave with this old maggot sack so that the man may rise completely new and pure to eternal life. That's the gospel. We are forgiven constantly and we're clothed with Christ's righteousness. He declares us righteous. Amen. Just simply trusting in Jesus. Boy, there's nothing better than that. So, I pray that will really bless you. Then we are reminded where he says, as we become increasingly aware of his presence, we find it easier to discern the way that we should go. This is one of the practical benefits of living close to Jesus. Instead of wandering about what is on the road ahead or worrying about, instead of wandering about what is on the road ahead or worrying about what you should do, if or when, you can concentrate on staying in communication with me. When you actually arrive at a choice point, I will show you which direction to go. Many people are so preoccupied with future plans and decisions that they fail to see choices that they need to make today. Without any conscious awareness, they make their habitual responses. People who live this way find a dullness creeping into their lives and they sleepwalk through their days following well-worn paths of routine. I, the creator of the universe, am the most creative being imaginable. I will not leave you circling in deeply rutted paths. Instead, I will lead you along fresh trails of adventure, revealing to you things that you did not know. Stay in communication with me. Follow my guiding presence. Amen. And you will be incredibly blessed. So, O oh Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. Blessed are those who hear the word of the Lord and keep it. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. We praise you, O God. We acknowledge you to be the Lord. All the earth now worships you, the Father everlasting. To you all angels cry aloud the heavens and all the powers therein. To you cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of your glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise you. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise you. The, whole, the noble armies of martyrs praise you. The holy church throughout the world does acknowledge you. The Father of an infinite majesty, your adorable, true, and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. You are the King of glory, O Christ. You are the everlasting Son of the Father. When you took upon yourself to deliver man, you humbled yourself to be born of a virgin. When you had overcome the sharpness of death, you opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You sit at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that you will come to be our judge. We therefore pray you to help your servants whom you have redeemed with your precious blood. Make them be numbered with your saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save your people, bless your heritage, govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify you and we worship your name forever and ever. Grant, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let your mercy be upon us as our trust is in you. O Lord, in you have we trusted. Let us never be confounded. So Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray the prayer our Lord taught us, the Lord's Prayer. And so together we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So, O Lord, hear our prayer. Let our cries come to you. The Lord be with us and with our spirits. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one of us. Amen. Well, my brothers and sisters, so good to be able to be back with you and uh, pray, pray that you have uh, received a blessing this morning through peace to the word. Beautiful day here in southern Arizona, clear skies, sunny. Pray it's a beautiful day wherever you might be worldwide. So uh, just want to convey all the blessings of our Lord to you in abundance and convey to you tremendous blue skies.